I'm going to show you what sales I've had in January. It's been a bit of a slow month, but I have made some sales, which I'm really grateful for. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I have sold. So let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rebecca. I am a part-time eBay reseller, but I do reselling content and I'm probably going to be doing a bit of mix of other content as well. So if you do like this sort of thing, then subscribe if you like it and leave me a comment if you're new and let's get into this video. I'm going to put the pictures here, like around here, just so you can see when I'm talking about the items. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be like, what am I talking about? But I'm planning to put them just here. So the first item is this pair of trousers by Hogs of Fife. These pair of trousers I did pay £6.95 for. I managed to sell these for £44.45. So deducting everything away, the profit was £26.12. So that was really nice. These trousers I actually bought on the 26th of September 2022. So it was quite a while ago. I did buy another pair of these and I did manage to sell within a couple of months of me listing them. It is an item that I will look out for in the future and it is something I will consider buying again because the Hogs of Fife are really good as a brand. So although it's taken a little bit longer to sell, sometimes it's worth it holding out. I'm happy with the profit for this. I'm intrigued to see what you think if you'd buy Hogs of Fife. I personally think it's a really good brand and you can get some good profits with, with reselling them. That's my opinion, that's my experience. Even though it's taken a while, I think I will buy this item in future. Next item are these pair of shoes. Now, these are a pair of shoes that I have had for years. They're a pair of shoes I bought for myself probably over 10 years ago. I've had them a very long time. I'm having a sort out because I'm planning to move and I've put them on eBay. They're not in the best of condition, but I made that clear on the listing. When I say they're not in the best condition, the, they look worn, but I've tried to polish them up so they look decent. I give them a wipe over. I've taken photos to try and make it obvious on the listing. They're not in that bad of a condition, but they don't look brand new. And for the brand, because it's by Peacocks, which is a high street chain, I wasn't expecting to get that much for them. I did try my luck and put them up for £6.99 and they have sold for that, so I was really happy with that. In total, the buyer paid £11.44, so taking away fees and everything, I made a profit of £5.49, so that's not too bad considering it's something that I was having to sort out and I've listed it. This item I wouldn't buy ordinarily from a charity shop, it's just something that I owned. It was too good to throw away and I wanted to see if somebody else was interested in getting some use out of the shoes instead of throwing them away. I've made a little bit of a profit, which I'm happy with. I wouldn't personally buy these from a charity shop. However, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. If you can get a profit, a profit's a profit. I wasn't expecting to sell at £6.99, but it just goes to show if you've got an item, if you make the pictures look good, if you make the listing look appealing, and you're very honest in the description, sometimes it's worth pushing the boundaries a bit. List it for a bit more than you normally would. You never know what you're going to get. It's worth a try. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it for reselling though. Next is this St. Michael's M&S wool jumper. It's a green cardigan. Now, this item has taken a very long time to sell. <laughs> this item I managed to sell for £14.45. Doesn't sound like a lot. I will speak about this a bit in a minute. I did originally pay £4 for this with the hope of getting a bit more of a profit, but I've managed to sell it. I've got my money back and I've got a bit of a profit. So taking away fees and all that usual stuff, I've made a profit of £4.11. Doesn't sound like a lot. However, the small profits do mount up over the month. Would I buy this again? Well, probably not. I bought this originally on the 10th of September 2022. It was again when I first got into reselling. It's an item that has lingered for a very long time, very little interest. That could be a mix of the fact that I'm not very good at listing my items or people aren't interested. It could be numerous factors. I'm not sure exactly what it is. As it goes, I probably wouldn't buy this item again because of how long it's taken to sell and the small profit I've got from it. You live and learn, but at least I've made a profit and I've not made a loss. The next item is this brass bell. This item is absolutely beautiful. It's like a vintage style bell. It's really nice. It's got a nice wooden handle. And this has managed to sell for £27.44. I probably could have got a little bit more for that, but I'm really happy for what it has sold for. 
I originally paid £4.95 for this bell and taking away fees and everything, I did make a profit of £13.29. So I don't think that's too bad. Now, I probably could have got a little bit more for this. I don't know. However, I'm happy with the profit. When did I purchase this one? So I bought this on the 10th of November 2022. It was again when I first started getting into reselling, I was relatively new, but this just looked really nice. I think I've done a video on most of these items that I've bought as well. <laughs> so would I buy this item again? I would. I would buy this sort of thing again. I know it's taken a while to sell, however, it has sold. I've got a profit for it. Whether the profit is big enough, I don't know. I'm happy with that. I think it's a really nice piece and I would look out for these sort of things in future. Sometimes things take a little bit longer to sell. I'll be intrigued to see your opinion on that. Would you have picked this up because it's taken so long? Would you have waited so long? I didn't realise it was so long since I bought it, to be fair. It's just looking at the dates in my book and I would buy it again. I don't know. I think it's because I just like it, to be fair. And it's one of those things I don't mind it lingering because it's a nice item. But I'm intrigued to see what you think about that. Next item is this Cotton Traders shirt. This shirt has taken ages to sell. It has sold, finally. <laughs> I was getting sick of the sight of it. It sold for £11.09. Now, originally I had it priced, I think, about £15, something like that. I've reduced it. I ended up taking an offer on this. A buyer sent me an offer of £6.64. In fact, I might have sent an offer out to somebody watching it. Either way, it was an offer. £6.64, so including the postage, it was £11.09 it sold for. Not that much, really. This has taken ages to sell. I only paid £1.50 for it originally. It's a good quality shirt. I thought it would have done a lot better. It hasn't. So taking away fees and everything else, I have only made a profit of £3.68. It is very small. However, it's a profit, not a loss. I have managed to get my money back and I've made a bit of a profit as well. So it's not that bad. When did I buy this? This was bought the 8th of September 2022. Again, a very long time ago. <laughs> Feels like years ago now. This has lingered. It has not really had much interest and... I was grateful when it did sell. It has taken ages, not much interest. I thought it would have done a lot better. It is a large size and it's just hung around. So would I buy this item again? Probably not. Next item is this warehouse brown cord skirt. This skirt is something that I owned anyway. I've worn it a couple of times. It's been in the wardrobe since and it's just not something that I wear. I'm having a sort out, so I've popped it on eBay. This is sold for £15.95, including the postage. I'm happy it has sold for that price. So taking away fees and postage, I did make a profit of £10.82. Really happy with that. Nice profits. I can't deduct how much I paid for it because it's something I had anyway. So I didn't buy it for reselling. Would I buy this item? Now, it's a good question because warehouse i have had luck in the past after buying a couple of items by this brand it's something i'd assess at the time whether it looks decent or not if it if it's worth it if it looks like it's going to be worth something it's one of those that i wouldn't rule out i will i do look for these sort of things in in charity shops because you can get a nice little profit from them so i wouldn't rule this brand out the next item is this john lewis 100 percent silk tie this has taken ages to sell as well. Now, this is sold for £6.30, including postage. And I did only pay 99 pence for this item. So not that much, not breaking the bank. <laughs> Didn't have to take a mortgage out for it. So relatively cheap, I've taken a risk on it. So taking my fees, I did only make a profit of £2.25. Profit's better than nothing. And I was really happy with that. It has lingered for some time. When did I buy this item? It was the 14th of October 2022. It's lingered for a very long time. It's not something I would buy again because it's taken so long to sell. I don't think my pictures were the best on this one, if I'm completely honest. I probably could have retook them. However, the tie itself is beautiful. It looks like it's like appropriate for like a wedding or a christening, summertime theme. It's really nice tie. However, it's not had a lot of interest. Not many people have looked at it. And I thought because it's by John Lewis, it's meant to be a good brand. It's 100% silk. I was taking a risk in the sense of thinking it, it would do well. This is one of those that I've had to reduce the price of because I've not had much interest. 
I did manage to sell it for three pounds. I was happy just to let it go at that price. Would I buy it again? Like I say, I don't think I would. But I do buy tyres and I do resell them. And I've had some luck with them, to be fair. But this one isn't particularly good one that's done well for me. So I don't think I would look into this in the future. I'm intrigued to see what you think of this, though. The next thing I sold was this Tigger Disneyland plush teddy bear toy. This sold for £11.44 with the postage. This item I only paid 99 pence for, so a bargain really. So taking away fees and postage and everything, I did make a profit of £5.52 on this one. So I didn't think that was too bad. Now, when did I buy this Tigger? I bought this on the 14th of October 2022. There is a theme with this, isn't there? <laughs> I think everything that is selling now I bought in 2022. So this has taken a while to sell the profit's not massive but it's a profit you are making your money back but they do linger for quite a while they're easy to package they're easy to post they're easy to list as well taking photos of but i don't know if i would buy them again if i came across this in a charity shop i would consider it it just depends i'm a bit on the fence about plush toys because they don't sell particularly well with me but it's something that I wouldn't definitely say no to. So I'm intrigued to see what you think. The next item is this Stoke City football shirt. It is a small size, I believe. And this has sold as well. So this has sold for £15.80, including the postage. And I did pay £4.49 for this in the charity shop. Taking away fees and postage and everything, I did make a profit of £6.29. So this was probably a bit of a mistake. So this was when I was going through a phase of buying football shirts. <laughs> and I don't really know what I'm doing with football shirts. I did buy a couple of England football shirts. And when the World Cup was on, they sold very quickly and for a nice profit. However, I was on the theme of I'm going to get into football shirts. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing because this clearly shows it. <laughs> now, I it's more of experimenting, really. There are people who resell who know what they're doing with sports items. I'm not one of them. And I did buy these thinking, this is a bargain. This is great. I'm going to get a good profit. You know, you're just psyching yourself up and no. <laughs> so when did I buy this? I bought this on the 12th of September 2022 and it's only just sold. It has taken ages to sell. I've had a fair bit of interest in it, but nobody's really wanting to buy it up until January. And eventually it has sold, so I'm glad it's gone. But I've had a fair few people watching it. I've had a fair few people viewing the item. Just nobody biting and wanting to actually buy it. So when it sold, I was, I'm going to have a party here because it's finally sold. <laughs> so it's not gone for a bad profit. I did get a profit on it. Would I buy it again? I probably wouldn't, to be fair. I tend to steer clear from football shirts, rugby shirts, all those sort of things, because I don't know what I'm doing with them. I know I could learn, but it's not something I'm really interested in. I'm not a football person. I don't really, I'm not interested in football. I do like rugby. Rugby's great. But I don't really know enough about the teams and stuff to really have the, I don't have the education for it, basically, because I don't know about football. So I tend to leave them for people who want to buy them and <laughs> you can crack on because I don't know what I'm doing. So I probably wouldn't in future. It was worth a risk. It's taken a while to do. I have got a profit from it, which is nice, but it's just taken a while. So I don't think I'll do it again in future. The next item are these Levi's jeans. These are a nice pair of jeans, very good condition. So these are sold for £21.45, including the postage. I did pay $7.95 for these, so I was probably paying a little bit on the higher side for them, but I've made a profit. So taking away fees, postage and everything else on top of that, I have made a profit of £5.32. I know it doesn't sound like a lot for these type of jeans. However, it's a profit, it's not a loss, and I'm really happy with it. I did only buy these on the 9th of August 2023, so only a few months ago. They were listed pretty quickly after I bought them and they sold in January, so that's a really quick turnaround in my opinion. Quicker than what you've seen previously. <laughs> this is not taking years to sell, so a few months, it's really good. I know it's not a massive profit, but the small profits still do add up. I'm happy with that and would I buy these again? I would in future. 
I know they are on a little bit on the higher side price wise and I probably could have pushed for a little bit more profit wise however I'm happy with this profit you're probably thinking I could have got more of a profit and I do agree however I'm happy I've made a profit it's not a loss and I do look out for these sort of things quite regularly Wrangler jeans Levi jeans I know you get different types and some do better than others but I tend to look out for any of them if they're in good condition they're quick and easy to list and you can wait a few months and they've usually sold within a couple of months or so so I do look out for this sort of thing because a lot of people do like to look at them they get a lot of attention on the listings a lot of people tend to watch them and then it just takes the right person they've got to be in the right place at the right time they'll buy the item and Bob's your uncle so I do I will look out for these in future the next item is this Snoopy night dress this is a really nice night dress actually and the only reason I bought it is because I was very new into reselling so I was feeling my feet and experimenting it looks in very good condition it was from BHS and it looks like a retro sort of vintage sort of item I guess and that's what my thought process was at the time this item has had a lot of attention so this item is sold for £11.84 I did only pay £2 for it originally and taking away fees, postage, what I paid, I did make a profit of £5.32, so that's not too bad. I think I've actually miscalculated the Levi jeans. I've actually misread the paper I've got here and I did make a profit of £6.26 on those, so I'm just going to put that in here. So that's for the Levi's. I've got them mixed up. But going back to this Snoopy night dress, I'm happy with that. This has taken ages to sell. It has had a fair bit of attention. It has had a lot of attention. Is that a lot of people viewing it, a lot of people watching the item. It's not had anyone buy it up until January. Would I buy it again? <clears throat> it's one of those where I don't think I would. It's given me a profit. It's a nice profit. I say a nice profit, it's a profit, not a loss. And I don't know if I would buy it again because it's taken so long to sell. However, it was a nice, it was a nice item. I don't think I would in future. Then again, I might come across some Snoopy items and buy them in future. I don't know. But I, right now, how I'm feeling, I probably wouldn't. I'd be intrigued to see what you think. When I first started, I was buying loads of stuff thinking it would resell. And I think we all fall into that trap where we buy stuff, we think it's going to sell and it doesn't. And that's where I was. So as you can see, there's a few items there, not many, but there's a few items there that has taken quite a while to sell. Most of them is because I'm new into reselling at the time of buying them. However, I've made a profit. So overall, I'm going to show you this figure is how much I've made in the month of January. So it's £195.21 considering i haven't really been making much effort on ebay i'm really happy with that it could have been a lot better but it also could have been a lot worse compared to some resellers it's pretty low <laughs> but looking at the bigger picture i've not been making much effort on ebay it also reminds me if i put the time and effort into it and i've been reselling i've been sourcing and i've been putting more items on ebay to sell i'll probably get a lot more of a profit than that that's not pure profit, so let me get into the figures. If you add all these figures up, it's not going to come to this figure, and I do appreciate that, because there might be somebody pedantic with a calculator saying, your figures are wrong, it doesn't add up. I know they're not going to because I've not added all of the sales that I've had for the whole month, purely because this video will end up being an hour long, it'll be boring, and not everything I'm showing is stuff I've sold for reselling. So I just wanted to show you just a handful of items. Breaking this figure down though, so if we're looking at postage and packaging, £57.36 of this figure is the postage and packaging that I've spent so going to the post office and how much it's cost me to send the items cost of goods if i'm adding that up separately that's 37 pounds and 81 pence so if i'm deducting that from the figure the overall profit if you like is 100 pounds and four pence now you can put the cost of goods together so it'll be 137 pounds and 85 pence 
the total taking away postage and packaging. So with these figures, what I tend to do personally, what works for me, the postage and packaging figure, so about £57, roughly speaking, this month. So I'll separate that. So when I then post items in February, I can chip into that fund. If it goes a little bit over, then I'll deduct it from the next time I get paid, which it gets complicated. It works for me. I know what I'm doing. So that I'll keep as sort of, I know I've got money then for postage and packaging. The cost of goods, so I will deduct that. And what I tend to do then is reinvest that back into the business or eBay store or whatever you want to call it. So then I'll use that figure, so it's about £37 this time. And that I know I can then go and spend on more stock to put on eBay. The profit, I'll take 20 to 25% of the overall profit and I'll save that into an account for tax reasons. So when the tax man asks for your figures at the end of the year, the end of the tax year, when they come knocking on your door, you've got it ready to go. So when your tax bill comes, you can just send it off. You, you know you've got it. Profit as well, you can reinvest to buy more stock. What I tend to do at the moment, because I am saving and there's a lot of expenses because of obviously moving, I'm tending to keep that profit, so I'm putting a bit towards savings, but I'm also reinvesting a little bit into eBay. So if I see something when I'm out and about and I buy it, it's not the end of the world. Or if I see something on eBay and I buy it, then I'll take it from there. The profit, though, I do try and save because obviously we've all got different financial goals and we've all got things that we're saving towards. So the profit, I tend to just be sensible with i don't go and buy random stuff i don't need but i tend to try and be sensible with it so that's what i tend to do when i get paid off ebay when i split it up that figure is not the worst it's not the worst month i've had but it's not the best either my income on ebay can vary massively and it does go to show how much effort you put in like i say i've not been putting a lot of effort in so it's not that much just a disclaimer as well if any of the figures don't add up that I've been showing you with the pictures and what I've been saying, I do apologise. It's quite late in the day. I'm quite tired. It's been a bit of a long video to record getting all the figures and all the bits together. So if something doesn't add up, I do apologise. I don't intend to mislead people. So if I have made a mistake, please let me know. I'll be intrigued. And I can tell you in the comments if there is anything I've made a mistake with. I don't want to mislead anyone. I just want to give everyone like a, an overview of what has been selling for me in January. Or in my case, what hasn't been selling for me. So if anything doesn't add up, I do apologise. Like I say, I'm quite tired at the moment. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you to everybody liking, subscribing and commenting on my videos. It does mean the world to me. I like to keep in touch with you all as well. It's really nice to hear everybody's opinions and comments and what you're all getting up to as well. It's really nice to hear. I'm going to leave it there for now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinions in the comments and I'll leave it there for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon.